Hello and welcome back to Master Desmond in the Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Something terrible has happened. The North is no more. The North is merely part of the Vale. They are one and the same. They are even connected borders wise through Crow's Barrens to Great Water Watch. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And we gotta think about what we wanna do. I mean, I guess we stay loyal to our liege who is Lord Rickard. We need to somehow get him back in charge. I think killing Finn may be off of our list of things to rush and do. He is no longer the biggest threat. We now have a huge problem because we need to get him back in charge. So how do we do that? Well, he is in line to the north. That much is good. He is actually, we have a look here. Never mind, he is not. Wait, so... Maybe these need to be calculated. He is in line to the north. Wait, how is he in line to the north, but not in line? The Vale. So this one goes down the Aran line, so it must go Roderick. So it goes Roderick, Jason, wherever Jason is. Wait. Roderick, Jason, Mordain. Ah, it's because it goes up to the mother. And if Jason dies, on the other side, it goes over to the start. I understand, because Jace... Yeah, okay, I got where that goes now. That's how it works on that side of things. Okay, so we need to just remove a few from the line. If we have a look at the north here, sorry, a fly just went... It's flying right in front of me and it just flew at my eyes. Anyway, uh, completely unrelated. Let's have a look at north here. So, if we get rid of the Lannister... And Lannister's mother. And then we get rid of Loria, his sister. Presumably Elena and Ravella. No, they're not in line. Okay, it must be a mother thing. Oh yeah, because Sansa was their mother. Oh wait, no. That's an umber. Sansa was... Okay. So how does it go to Lorera? Lorella. L Loria. And not to Elena. Sorry, this fly is very much still going. So, oh, Ellen, wait. A picture is not updated, but Ellen is married to King Geralt. Oh, interesting. I want to know how that succession law works, because it doesn't. Currently. That, that does not line up as the succession. It does not go there, 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 Rickard. So how does it go from... Oh, is it, is it maybe go to her mother and because Rickard has a claim he's higher up in it somehow? Maybe that's how it works. It could be. I could believe it. Hmm. Anyway. Essentially, if I get rid of Jason, Roderick, Mordain, we're good. Let's get rid of Jason and this fly as well. They're both equally as annoying. And equally as persistent. Right, Jason. How can we get rid of him? He is a Lannister in Lannister Court. Don't have a lot of power over there. Okay, Mordain. Let's have a look at her. She's in a Lannister Court. She's also not got a lot of chance to get rid of her. Roderick. He. We do have a little bit of chance to get rid of. He's not necessarily our first uh, thing person we need to get rid of, though. And then, Loria. Uh, wait, was, La was Loria in line here? No, she's not in line. Yeah, okay. I was mis- I, I, Okay, she's in line to this one. I misread which one was she was in. Okay, that's fine. Just a little mistake there. Uh, right, so. Let's try and get rid of her. Let's see what the plot is to get rid of her. So. We have a look here. Anybody interested? We get some interested. We could. We need some money. But we need. We could get some interest. Okay. What about her son? Anybody more interested in killing her son? Uh, not at all. People really like her son, unfortunately. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything we can do there. Ah, yes. Uh, we could start spying. That's the other thing we can do. We start killing people. That might help. Oh, they said we can't spy on anyone, apparently. Oh, because 
We can only probably spy on people who are vassals of our liege. And our liege is currently in charge of Winterfell, so we probably can't uh, spy on anyone who's that far out, would be my guess. Winterfell is still fairly large, as things go, but... Hmm. Okay. Well, I'd like to go back to spying on Finn, if that's alright. Oh, we, we never stopped spying on Finn. Wait, is that maybe why uh, we can't spy on anyone else? No, it's just not an option. Okay, well, we'll keep with Finn. We'll see how it goes. If I split that up again... Yeah, there you go. You can see how big Winterfell is, but still, it's not great. Not great. Right. See how everything else goes. Uh, request council support has come in. Uh, I'm going to decline that. Master Desmond, a great melee known tradition has been held. I'm not going to go to that. We will attend, but I'm not going to go. It's fine. Oh, things are being uh, usurped already in Moat Kaelin. He's changing things up. Rickard inherited the castle of Wolf's Den from Sander Trent. Okay. And Brandon Tolhart and Barrowga and Barth Ogan uh, sight each other, engaged in combat. First duel. Brandon prevailed, leaving Barth Ogan to yield. Okay. Seems about right. Oh, he only has 15 skill. I think we have higher than 15 skill. No, actually, we have zero. <laughs> that, that is a mistake. We don't have higher than 15. Brandon Tolhart and Ramsey Bowl remained in the field, and Brandon won with his 80. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. He is a true warrior. Poachers have been seen in Winterfell, so I should probably send my spymaster Mora and my marshal Harrion to investigate the matter. Sure, I'll do that. Need to uh, stop people poaching. We need to get some taxes and some money. Harrion uh, caught two young poachers in my forest with a couple of dead rad rabbits at their belts and a uh, live one in a snare. We'll deal with them. Mora caught two young poachers as well. Nice. And uh, Lord Bass's melee is over. Castle of Wolf's Den has been inherited from uh, Meryl Florent. Wait, where's Wolf's Den then? Oh, Alright, interesting that Florent had land up there. Is that right? My dear master, I've learned there are certain factions within the realm working to undermine my rule. If you're involved or planning to become so, I trust your complicity in these matters ends now. Hey, I'm not in any plots or factions. I was in Leash Loyalist for a while. You know, I'll join again with my son. We'll be your Leash Loyalist, okay? Okay. Right. Um, we've got so many things. I could offer to help with my liege's titles. You need some help there, uh, Leash? You want me to help with your titles? I could maybe help. My Leash has agreed to give me the responsibility of handing out his recently acquired titles. Okay. So I need to give her a White Harbor. Who am I going to give it to? I was kind of hoping for ourselves, but I don't know even know if I would have taken it. We give it to his son, Ben Stark. That is first son. Second son, okay. Al Altor Artos Old Grey. Some nobody or Sander Trent. Okay. Who has claims on the Castle of Wolf's Den and on Drunkard's Tower. Or to John Whitehill. We're completely missed. Who is married to my niece? I mean, come on. I gotta give it to John Whitehill. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. We got another White Hill, but he's married to our niece, and that's great. We can get an alliance now. We will form an alliance. To the great Master Desmond, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I, Lord John of White Harbor, accept your proposal for an alliance. Good. Glad you accept my proposal. Ali has written a song in my honor. Apparently, she wants me to know that I'm the best person in the world. Well, I am humble, so I'm just a responsible adult. Ali is no less impressed by me now. It seems like I'm quite the idol for her. Well, I hope I'm a good influence. She's got Idolizer, and I did say last time... Oh, Aegon of Essence died. Essos died. Interesting. Well, that's the end of that line, then. For the last of the Targaryens. Are there any Targaryens left? Uh, let's load an, load an empty filter up. Tar... No, Daenerys is still around. Okay. She had married some people uh, in the Sea Lord's Palace in uh, Bravos. Interesting. There are actually quite a lot of Targaryens left. Alright. Yeah, very interesting. 
Ambitious but slothful. Okay, okay. And they're all follows the moon singer. Oh, no, we got two faith the seven ones. Who? Oh, oh we're Viserys's uh, children. Oh, okay, and he's still around actually. Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Anyway, um, yes, I said I was gonna have a look around the realm. What's she trying to do? Replace Mara Spymaster. I don't know if she succeeds. Surely she's the better Spymaster. But yes, we will do a little bit of a summary. Uh, actually, before checking the White Book and all that, let's have a look at who's in charge of each realm. We have Dorne with Princess Ariane. She was married to Oberyn, who of course died to Lord Quellen in a war. And I say it might be in a trial by combat. I think it was a trial by combat in the Stormlands, actually. But she is in charge. Uh, her heir is Lord Cletus the Evil, who is married to a Baratheon. Okay. In fact, married to the sibling of Lord Paramount Merrin of the Stormlands. And I guess we should have looked at the Stormlands now. It is now owned by Lord Paramount Merrin. Wait, are there two Lord Paramount Merrin? Oh no, she's sister to Lord Paramount Merrin. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Anyway, it looks like Renly died of cancer. He is now uh, holding on to it. Yeah, wait, is that one of his grandparents? Is it was Oberyn. Another one was Stefan, and his parent was Renly. A good family line, really. Yeah, okay. Lots and lots and lots of sisters. His heir is Lady Shireen. Not the same Lady Shireen, but a different one. Uh, okay, the Reach. Still controlled by Tyrell. Yep, it's called, controlled by Alistair Tyrell, who is the son of Willis the Faithful, uh, Faithless. And he is, again, has a lot of children. His um, heir is Rickard. Okay, any uh, claims on anything? I should have been checking all of these guys. Wow, he has a claim on a lot of things. Blackhaven was the one that Dorne took from them, I think. Then he has a weak claim on Seven Kingdoms. Dorne has a few claims within Dorne. Actually, in the high city of Norvos, they have a claim on as well. Uh, the Westlands is controlled by Lord Paramount Tywin. Looks like Tyrion died. Tywin is now a knight and has no claims on anything. He's basically just a Lannister who holds Lannister land. He's also known as the Treacherous. His heir is Tyland. Right, so we have Lord... Wait, sorry, we have King Geralt, whose uh, son... Well, not son, whose heir and brother is, Lord, is Prince Robar. Princess Freya uh, is Baratheon. Is he? Wait, I'm trying to figure out. His aunt is his uh, sister. His aunt is his wife. Very confused. Let's want to check here. Um, married to Lowborn. He is married to a Lannister. Okay. Is there an alliance there? No alliance. Okay. The Trident is owned by Lord Paramount Simons or Simmons, and his heir is Lady Fryn who is his aunt, who is um, also his wife. Okay, interesting. And then Seaguard appears to be in a small independence vault over there. We have the Iron Isles, held by Lord Paramount Harren, heir be uh, married to a Farwind, and heir being Marin, married to a drum. So all very much within the Iron Isles there. Then of course we have the Vale slash North, controlled by Lord Paramount John of the Vale. All right, his heir being Lord Roderick. If we have a look up here, we have all the rest of these things, and just to show you, there are no White Walkers yet. So I think we get an event when they spawn in, in case you're wondering. Right, uh, let's have a look at the White Book and the Small... Well, let's do Small Council first. Small Council is made up of the King, Lord Paramount Tywin II is Master of Laws, Master of Coins is Lord Cavan, Princess Ariane is Master of Arms. Grand Maester Theomor is Grand Maester Theomor Lannister. Layla Slint is Master of Whispers. Septon Selwyn is Septon. Lord Durin Baratheon is a small council member. Uh, Lord Paramount Alistair Tyrell is High Admiral. And additionally, the Wardens of the Realm are Lord Paramount John Arryn, Warden of the East, Lord Paramount Tywin Lannister, Warden of the West, and Lord Paramount Alistair Tyrell, Warden of the South. There is no Warden of the North currently. Okay, Blood Feuds. Volantine and Volantine. Yeah, okay, these are messed up, but you can guess who the. Those are the people in Blood Feuds. You just can't know who they are. So, it's not very helpful, is it? 
Uh, we don't need tourney medals and winners. Any dragons? No dragons. Fair enough. Uh, there are the Valyrian steel blades, in case anyone's wondering. I imagine they're probably all very similar to last time. And the white book. We have the current members of the Night's Watch. Who is? Uh, it's all underneath Lord Commander Joris Torrance. And then we've got Sir Arnold Roswell, Sir Robert Bushy, Sir Medwick Graceford, Sir Melwyn Foote, Sir Dorden Chelstead, and Sir Corlos Payne. And that's it. That's everything. Back to the Vale and back to, uh, yeah, training up other people's children, apparently. Okay, we are making some money back again after all of the uh, problems we had. Lord Barth of Wolfswood is trying to assert my title. We'll obviously try and get rid of his Justicier, Jez Umber. The assassin succeeded. The troublesome Justicier who was roaming around the country uh, or county trying to fabricate a claim my title is no more and there is no trace leading back to me. Fantastic. He's dead. Very good. Oh, okay. Uh, that is Ramsay Snow dead. The person who's in charge of Ethering now is... Aaron Nobly, who is married to my sister. We get an alliance? Yeah. Our alliance network is growing through all the weakest people. The Risewells have invited me to attorney. Obviously, that's a no. We're not going to watch. Well, I should have gone and watched, actually. Never mind. Whatever. It was probably Lud who won. Uh, ooh, I hereby invite you to attorney of Scorched Vale, where the best knights and lords of the Vale will be invited to compete. Well, no, I'm sorry. I don't want to go there. I don't want to prove my strength. Master Desmond Cassell, I hereby invite you to attend the Grand Tourney of King's Landing. Now, you see, this is the kind of one that you can't say no, no to, basically. Uh, yes. Where the finest knights and lords of all the realms shall be invited to find out who's the most gallant and able knight in the lands. But you may notice I've been invited to attend, not to participate, which is probably for the best. I think it's because I'm not a knight. Um, yeah, sure, I'll go to White Hearth to watch the uh, melee as well. They say it is Sir Harris Westbrook's turn to joust, but the crowd, to the crowd's shock, he stumbles out of the tourney field late and clearly drunk from too much cider. With none of his armour and only slightly more of his clothing, he tries to mount his horse, but trips and falls comically to the ground. Unable to even ride, King Gerald Baratheon of the Iron Throne seems most displeased, publicly rebuking and disqualifying him. How embarrassing. My liege, King Geralt Baratheon, tried to have Lord Durin um, Baratheon of Dragonstone arrested, but failed to apprehend him. Um, Lord Durin saw the futility in rebellion and has travelled to King's Landing to seek justice. Is that Stannis' son? Yes, that is Stannis' son. Wait, but that doesn't look... That's Stannis and his second wife, Obella Sands' son. Oh, okay. Interesting. One that had uh, daughter, Aya, who is married to a Prince Joffrey. Yeah, okay. Quent Forrester and Lord Rod Rodwell Wool sighted each other in and engaged in combat. After first duel, Quent revealed, leaving Lord Rodwell to yield. There's Rodwell, a really good fighter. And Quent, not a good fighter whatsoever. Oh, wow. Well done. Only Royce Ironsmith and Quent Forrester remained in the field. They engaged in a final duel, which Royce won after leaving, after forcing Quent to yield. Royce is much better. Not better than the first one, but much better. Uh, ooh, to the great Master Desmond, would you like to, uh, to vote with him for a favor? I'm going to say no. The first days of jousting are complete. Um, ooh, I can bet on any competitor via diplomatic interaction by right-clicking the character's portrait. Ooh, who have we got? Anybody I want to bet on? Um... There are so many. I'm gonna bet on. Let's see. Lord Commander George, that lo Lord Commander of the Night's Watch? That's Tywald. Different Lord Commander. Um, Lord Paramount uh, Alistair Tyrell seems like a good bet, probably. Yeah, I'm gonna, I might, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place a bet. I'm gonna place it for the person who wasn't a knight in that pile. Robin, wait. 
white walkers. Do they have land? No land just yet. No land just yet. Robin Page. Wait, maybe Robin Page is not his name. It's Robin Page as in Robin and he is a page. No, it must be Robin... It must be this guy, Robin Page. Yeah, I'm going to bet on him. I'm going to bet on, uh, on Robin. You search Tony Grounds for a bootmaker or take a bet on Robin Page. You offer 201 to 1 that he'll prevail. I'll make a small bet. Come on, Robin. It was Lord Halen Selmy and Sir Theo Vance's turn to joust in the list. Sir Theo won soundly. The final tilt at Lord Halen was sent flying from the saddle in a ha hail of shattered lance pieces. He has negative skill. Although he was. Oh no. Alright, he was grievously injured. He didn't have negative skill before he went in, he had negative skill after he went in. How unfortunate. So Lauren Kidwell and Robin Page were next to Joust in the list of many tilts and broken lances. Sir Robin was. Well, Robin was eventually on horse, leaving Sir Lauren to be declared the winner. You are defeated by an old man. I don't know why I ever bet on you, Robin. My bet has been lost. Oh no! The melee is over. Notice Kana is acting very selfishly when playing with other children. No, it's very wrong. Okay, Benjacott, Branch, and Manfred Duckfield were next to Joust, the many broken lances. Sir Manfred was eventually on the horse, leaving Sir Benjacott to be declared the winner. Benjacott, just ever so slightly better. Okay. Sir Dorden, Chess. Uh, Chelstead and Lord Benjacott Branch were next to Joust and many tilts broken lances. Lord Benjacott was on horse leaving Sir Dorden to be declared the winner. And Dorden was slightly worse. Oh, okay. Now it's Sir Arnold Groswell and Sir Dorden Chestil faced each other for many tilts finally excuse jousting. Sir Dorden was on horse leaving Sir Arnold Groswell to be declared the winner. Arnold Groswell was the best person we've seen. He truly deserved it, yes. As, his, as victor of the tourney of King's Landing, Sir Arnold Groswell has the honour of choosing Queen of Love and Beauty, so he decided to honour our host, King Geralt, by crowning his wife as the Queen of the tourney. Makes sense, makes sense. Good choice. Especially as he's a King's Guard. Very good choice, in fact. Every time my ward Kana meets a stranger, she looks like she might faint. Hey, we're a socialiser. We'll get her to talk. It's gregarious. Fantastic, we did it. After much food, brown ale, jousting and combat, King Geralt Baratheon's tourney has finally ended. I think that is time to end the episode. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.